Hello everyone, today I wanted to share a new open source PCB project I've been working on. It's called Bird's Nest and this is a USB hub designed for tool changers and other uh, 3D printers with multiple tool heads running USB tool head boards. So this is a 6 port, technically 7, I'll explain the 7th, but this is a 6 port USB hub. That way you only run one USB cable to your Raspberry Pi or whatever SPC you have that's running Clipper and you can connect up to 6 tool head PCBs uh, to this PCB. Every single uh, USB connector here, which these are 2x3 MX 3.0 connectors, every single one of them have the protection circuit involving MOSFETs and diodes uh, behind them. As I said, this is technically a 7 port USB hub. So this SMSC chip is a 7 port USB hub. This is similar to the one I use on Tukcan. Tukcan is the 4 port version of this. This is a 7 port version. So this uh, USB hub, as I said, is a 7 port USB hub. And the 7th USB port is used for this STM32 G. 0 b one MCU. So uh, that MCU also communicates with Clipper running on your Raspberry Pi or whatever SPC through this USB port and uh, this MCU runs Clipper and the point of that MCU is to let you use all these connectors so you can connect up to six filament sensors to this PCB and you can see the status of the filament in Clipper that way. So if you have filament sensors on each of your spools that you have for each of your tool heads uh, you can see the status of that through here and you don't have to run a different control board or something like that just to be able to read the filament sensors which uh, this will be probably closer to where your spools are than uh, the electronic chamber of the Voron 2.4. This also has four thermistor ports. Thermistor ports if I'm not mistaken don't really have a use with self changers but uh, you can never have enough thermistor ports so if you have some uh, temperature sensors you want to connect you can connect them here and uh, you can connect up to four uh, thermistor zero to monitor and clipper this also has two rgb led connectors so these are for uh, neopixels these are not meant for long led strips like disco on a stick and stuff like that these are mostly meant for indicator leds but if you do want to connect a disco on a matchstick or something like that you can do that as well the mount for this which was designed by manchita and uh, is or either is already public or should be public pretty soon uh, has two wago mounts here on the mount so you can supply the five volt power through the wagos and then uh, connect the data line to these connectors and that way you can control rgb sticks that's on the top of your 3d printer chamber as well so that is also supported with this pcb so the power for the uh, USB tool head PCBs is connected through the screw terminal here and up to 20 amps of power can be supplied to the tool heads uh, using this PCB which should be plenty. If you do need more than 20 amps because of your hot end heaters you can still use this PCB. You should just stage the initial heating of the each tool head so you should turn them on one by one and that should be plenty. So there's a 20 amp fuse here for uh, protection against that and uh, yeah, this should uh, be suitable for most uh, USB tool head applications with uh, tool changer 3D printers. So the bird's nest was obviously designed with style changers in mind and there's already a Voron 2.4 style changer mount available which is on the GitHub repository of this project which is linked in the description below. But uh, here it is, uh, here is the CAD model of that. So as you can see this is a two piece print, there is a base and there is a lid and these two pieces attach magnetically so you don't have to screw the lid to the base. And uh, here is the base and this is where you mount the bird's nest with two M3 screws and there are threaded inserts for those. And you can also see the wago mounts here. So wago mounts are optional, you don't need them unless you need to power LED strips or stuff like that and control them through the signal from the bird's nest. If you do need that, then uh, Wago mounts are available on the mount. So you can supply the 5 volt power and ground through the Wagos and then connect the signal wire to the bird's nest. And that way you can control RGB like NeoPixel, uh, Disco on a stick and stuff like that. Just make sure that the ground that's coming to the Wagos is the same ground that's connected to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, you can find the cable gland mount here and there's a cutout for the USB cable which will be running to your Raspberry Pi. There are some uh, zip tie points as you can see so you can organize your cables a bit better. There are also two fan mounts on this side and on this side. Uh, you don't need fans with uh, bird's nest but I guess they're nice to have. This design looks awesome so thanks to Manchita for designing this. I don't really have a stealth changer which is why I had uh, help from some of the Dropshift design people uh, during the beta test of this and uh, yeah as you can see uh, this is already being talked about on the Dropship Design Server, which if you're interested in that, 
building a style changer, you really should consider joining their uh, Discord server since they are the creators of the style changer. And uh, yeah, you can find a lot of useful information here. But in this case, I'm just showing that, uh, showing the, some pictures of the design uh, in a real life application. So here's the bird's nest mounted to that mount and with two tool heads connected, Raspberry Pi connected with this USB cable and 24 volt power and 5 volt power to the Wagos connected and the cables run through the cable gland here. And you can see the magnetic mount here as well. As you can see it works pretty well. Again, it's an awesome design and you can find it on the GitHub repository of this project, which is linked in the description below. But speaking of the GitHub repository of this project, uh, here it is. Uh, the, this is not complete complete yet at the time of recording this. I need to upload the Gerbers of the PCB and source files and pick and place files and stuff like that. But those are ready. I just need to upload them. And by the time this video is live, they will be on the GitHub repository. As always, this is licensed under GPL v3, meaning you can use this pretty much however you want to use this really, as long as you give credit. And that includes commercial use as well. So I'm sure there will be more vendors down the line. But at the time of recording this, I'm the only vendor selling this PCB. So you can find the list of the purchase links on the GitHub repository which as I said is linked in the description below and on the github repository you can find everything you need to order this PCB from a PCB manufacturer like PCBWay or JLC PCB and on the github repository you can also find a manual of this PCB so I tried to make a fairly comprehensive manual for this PCB and this manual is 10 pages long and uh, yeah you can see a uh, intro here and then two pages of firmware flashing instructions you can skip this page if you bought the PCB from me but if you sourced it elsewhere you should follow this page and then the second page is for flashing uh, clipper and then you can find the rest of the instructions here including uh, where, you, where to find the config file which is also on the github repository uh, yeah it looks like i already uploaded that so here is the config file for the bird's nest and again that's linked in the manual which is on the github repository and the file for that is also on the github repository so just check the link in the description below and you can find the mounts on the github repository as well as i said so you can find that two-piece uh, Boron 2.4 mount for style changers called Fanny Pack, and uh, yeah, you can find the STLs for this and the source for this under the CAD folder uh, on the GitHub repository. In the manual, you can also find the pinout. So if you need to make custom cables, you can reference this. The pinout is also available on the backside of the PCB, so you don't need the manual to figure out the pinout. But uh, it is also available on the manual, as you can see. Can find the schematic debugging instructions since i don't have a self changer myself i ran a beta test of this pcb so thanks to ref rchamp tessian jd montgomery frostbite and nick 335 for helping me beta test this pcb and thanks to rchamp and ref again for coming up with the idea for this pcb since i don't have a self changer myself i probably wouldn't have even thought about designing a pcb like this so uh yeah it, they on different occasions suggested designing a USB hub PCB for self changers and things like that. And uh, yeah, this PCB exists thanks to their suggestion. So thanks to them for suggesting it. And thanks to Manchita for designing the mounts for this. But uh, that's it for this video. I hope you found this project interesting. If you did, please leave a like down below. And thanks for watching.